Hello, everybody. We're welcome back to Desks and Dorks. Uh, I, this is Kyle Lott. I'm flying solo tonight, but I am joined uh, this time by the disembodied voices of Jack and Callan from Half Monster Games. What's up, gentlemen? G'day, Plaga. How's it going? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's going good. It's going good here in Australia. Thanks for having us. Fantastic. Uh, Thanks for having me, I should say. Um, I am going to be right. engaging in a Tabletopia playthrough of Xeno Hunters, which I am very, very excited for. Um, and then that's basically it. I'm just going to stop there, and I'm going to let Jack take this over and run this show, and we're going to hopefully not die. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so to get started, I'll say that this game is currently available on Kickstarter. Um, and uh, what we're going to do today is a playthrough where we'll leave some of the aliens' abilities a little bit mysterious uh, at the start because, yeah, I always find it really fun to have people go, what? It can do that? Um, so that'll be good. Uh, so the general premise of Xeno Hunters is that um, uh, humanity is spread all throughout the galaxy and there's sort of like a wild frontier kind of thing going on. And... Uh, so Starships and space stations are starting to go dark all along the frontier. So um, we as intergalactic mercenaries are being sent to find out what happened. And what happened is aliens. And uh, you can play through it sort of narratively. Um, there's four missions and they each build a story about sort of uncovering the mystery and stuff like that. Or you can do it sort of arena based where you use the maps um, in whichever order you want and just um, have those uh, challenges uh be mainly about um the map itself and how much you know how the alien works and how much they know so uh we are uh, carl you and i are going to be the humans and callan is going to be the alien <laughs> all right so what we're going to be doing is uh if you have a look at your character card we're going to use two characters each if that's okay with you carl you got it there are rules where you can use fewer than four characters, and the alien receives a series of sort of nerfs or um, uh, restrictions on its abilities. But uh, we'll just play with all four so you can see how it all works together. Cool. So if you zoom in on one character card... And I'm actually going to um, zoom in on our, our good friend, the Engineer Ironclad, who, oh, good, yeah. who has swiftly become my favorite character. Oh, yeah. You got, uh... <laughs> She's very strong. She's a... Uh, uh cyborg kind of warehouse dock worker that turned mercenary so there's a bit of a story one of the locations in the game is actually where she was sort of created um so there's a bit of backstory there i would also like to point out that i feel very bad for the alien if we roundhouse kick them because this woman has never skipped leg day a day in her life oh yeah i like pulp it yes so, Callan, be careful. so um each uh each character each turn uh, is able to perform two of any of the actions on the board. So you can, uh, s the core one is sneaking around, so that's where you move your speed, which you can see in the bottom left under the character yep. portrait. So in this case, my engineer would have a speed of four. Yep, that's okay. right. So on the main board, um, you would be able to move the character standy, um, which is on currently on the spaceship in the cryo tube. I'm going to zoom uh, in so people can see my our lovely standees. That's right, so um, she's moved four spaces, and if you're sneaking, that movement can actually be hidden from the alien and the other players. So instead of placing your character standee on the board on B15, you would at, or, or C15, sorry, you would come over here and place your little character token on C15. That, oh, sorry, I'll do that. that is <laughs> super, super neat. That's really cool. Yeah. Cool. So if you ever played like Battleship or any hidden movement game, um, that's how you do it. But the unique thing about Xeno Hunters is that both teams, so the um, humans and the alien, are both doing things secretly um, most of the time and sneaking around. So it's a double hidden movement game. And the way that um, the gameplay is there uh, is the humans will be talking to each other the whole time, trying to figure out strategies and figure out, you know, let each other know where they are, but not be too obvious about it. And a lot of the interactions with the ship itself either um, are at risk of revealing you. So, like, you might drop a piece of metal or something and that reveals you on the main board. Oh. Um, or the alien will be able to look at little clues and, like, where it thinks you are and knowing what your objective is to try and figure out where you might be. Uh, and it also has a variety of abilities that can let it um, track you down as well, which we'll discover in a second. Awesome. It's pretty, pretty scary. So what I... What I, I 
what I really like is this is a cool marriage of form and function because if you've ever seen like an old um, like ship schematic, it kind of looks like this with the coordinates mapped out, but the coordinates also serve a gameplay. Um, I like that. I really, I really dig that. That's that's real cool. Yeah, that was the aesthetic we were going for. It's all meant to look like you're looking at a digital interface on like this table, and like when people start to be like, "Oh my god, I'm getting, I'm chased, I'm getting killed, I'm being eliminated," it's like you're, you know, hearing it through a crackly headset, and you're looking at this overlay, and you're like, "Oh my god, like." Yeah. <laughs> this game, this game with like, uh, with multiple way walkie talkies. Like, if you were all playing it in the same house but in different rooms, I'm like talking over the walkie talkies would be amazing. Uh, that would be really cool, actually. Maybe we should try that at some point. I it's would be totally be down. I, it'll be a bit like that for you and I, Carl, because we're literally talking to this um, Google Meet right now. So we're like, oh my god, hold up. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, yes, so you can sneak around, which means moving your speed, and you can do that twice if you want with your two actions. You can okay. also sprint, which is moving twice your speed, but it means that you, when you end the movement, it has to be visible on the board. Yep. You can also do, like, a sprint sneak. So the first action is a sprint, which gets you really far, and then you can sneak. Ooh, okay. Uh, but, uh, the alien can also sort of see, because uh, in, in the real version, there's um, player kind of... Uh, screens in front of you that both conceal your board and have all your information on it. Right. And the alien can see how far you can move. So it'll know, for example, that uh, Caduceus, the medic, can only sneak four spaces. So if you sprint and then vanish, the alien can be like, it's within this zone. Right. You know that she's around here. So there's some, there is some, some public information that the alien can make some educated guesses yeah. with. That's right. And if you move ultra sneakily the whole time, you can do the whole mission without being revealed once interesting um, but that's just gonna take a while right if that makes sense and most missions actually end with the station um exploding so um, it's very hard to sneak away while the its explosion is chasing you through the ship back to your uh starting point i was gonna say and i'd imagine at that point too i'm not worried about noise because noise is everywhere Exactly, yes, but um, the aliens are also very aware explosion is happening, and they know you're heading to the starship, so yeah, there's lots of chance for like ambush and sprinting around, and we try to make a very cinematic game where there's, there's sort of three phases, the first is like sneaking around, figuring out where each other are, the next is like you have all the things you need to accomplish your mission, and you're like very specifically accomplishing that mission, and then um, the final phase is um, sort of action movie, everyone's sprinting away. And Shooting guns and chucking grenades and... Right. It's That's the it's the scene from Aliens where we get the the guns that definitely were not uh, dolly grip cameras with like giant Nerf guns attached to the end of it. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. Good. I love uh, it. A lot of the artwork for the for the item cards will be like schematics that are like, is that really a gun or is that just something you've slapped together from like a fusion core and like a broom or something? So yeah, it's gonna be fun. The way God intended. Yeah, that's it. So um, if you have a look at the top left, <coughs> sorry. Nope. the board, each board actually shows you your objectives and there are degrees of victory. So for mission one, distress call, we've sort of come to this ship, we've heard that it's abandoned, we go inside, there's just bodies and blood everywhere. Well, there's, there's blood everywhere, but there's no bodies. Um, we'll have a little spiel on the boards um, in the final game. We're sort of updating that all now. Mm -hmm. um, but so our bronze victory on this particular mission is destroying the reactor. So we need to find a bomb and a detonator, put the bomb in the reactor, and then use the detonator, which is an item, to blow up the main ship. Uh, and if we all die in the process, we get a bronze victory. Okay. <laughs> if at least one of us <laughs> manages to um, get back to the ship and hit the warp button, then it's a silver victory. Um, if all of us <laughs> manage to get back <laughs> sorry, <clears throat> to the ship and warp away at the end of the mission, thank you, um, then it's a gold victory. A gold. That's right. So Sweet. The, the, there are three victories, sort of grades of victory for each mission. Um, and if you want to play it, sort of, you can do an Iron Man mode where you actually play them all in order and tell the story Ooh. and you like help persist between missions and things like that. Um, and they get harder and harder uh, in terms of being humans versus aliens as you go. Um, yeah. The ultimate run you can do is a pure gold all victory. 
Man, that sounds like nails. Let's let's see if I get through this first one in whatever resembles One Piece first before I I want to do Iron Man all gold. Absolutely. One v one, final destination, no <laughs> items. Cool. Okay, so um, there's also uh, how many items we get at the start, um, and uh, so it should say one equipment and one egg. It's just we need to update this particular board, but that's fixed in um, review copies and things. Okay. Uh, the Callan will get one alien egg to place anywhere on the ship, and we each get each of our characters gets one card from their color. Sweet. So, so I'm gonna grab my my engineer card. Yep, that's right. So you put it next to your character. Okay. Uh, now, am I allowed to look at this card yet? Oh, I, I did by accident, but... Uh, yes, you are. Yeah, you're allowed to look at it. Um, the alien won't normally be able to see. Also, um, we don't have player screens in Tabletopia, so that's why, you know, like, Callan could look at all of our stuff, but he's not going to. So, uh, well, um, but in the very, uh, do... very alien chivalrous screen, for an alien. Yeah, that's right. I have no interest in your puny movements. <laughs> I'll destroy you anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, uh, we do have sort of like a diagram of how that works on the Kickstarter page. If cool. Want to see. So, Carl will place the alien egg, and um, you and I, Carl, can figure out what we want our characters to do. So, we'll, we'll play open hand as well, just for now. Okay, so um, I'm just going to lay mine. I will lay my, my card on the, the table then. Uh, yep, and you can just press F to flip it face up. So, what have you got? Uh, it should be flipped face up already. I have a... Um, I, well, I, should I should I say it out loud? I don't know how I don't know what the limits of Callan's chivalry are. That's right. Let's talk in code. So um, you, you have what we need. I have one very sparky sparky boom boom. Sparky sparky boom boom. All right, that Callan. It's a it's a light, it's a lamp. Yep. It's a decorative lamp. Callan. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. That's yep. right. Um, and your uh, warlord, the captain, gets a card as well. Oh, excellent. So I'm playing as both okay. characters, right? My apologies. All right. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. That is cool. So that means you automatically hit, uh, but unfortunately, you don't have a gun. So oh. <laughs> so I'm just walking around this, like, dark space station with a scope. <laughs> and no weapon for it to go on. Well, that's right. So, uh... <laughs> uh, it is pretty fitting at one point. I'd like to duct tape the scope to my fist to ensure that my fist does not miss for, like, greater accuracy. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so excellent. You be the best. All right, yeah. you're you're the type of person I like playing role playing games with. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I do that for all board games as well. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Play one and I'll yeah. Like, Can I trade these things? Can I trade these beetles I'm collecting? And the person was like, No, it's not in the rules. And I'm like, What if I have a black market where I just pass it under the table? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it cheating or is it just expanding the gameplay option? That's the real. I'd question. like to think it. Listen, I, I played a 16-hour game of Twilight Imperium where I decided I was role-playing as the Ninja Turtles the entire time because that's how much fun I wasn't having. Wow, I love it. We should, yeah, let's play more games together. <laughs> the best way to play those three games. Oh, yeah. Is you just role-play them. Just abandon all, all, all logic. And I, uh, I may or may not have built a war sun and parked it over a planet called Garboja because it was the closest thing to a sewer. And they were like, oh. you could move it and attack someone. I was like, no, no, Master Splinter stays in the sewer. That's what Master Splinter does. Oh, I love that. Yes, that's role playing. That's what we just like making these weird decisions. Oh my gosh. Alright. So let's let's alright, so now in a real game of this, like let's assume for example that there's four of us. Are these turns simultaneous or um is there a turn order? How does that play out? So it's simultaneous, but because it's our first game we can do it in turn order. Okay. But yeah, generally we can sort of um yeah, just play it. You, you, the, all the players go at once, so okay. there, there are some questions sometimes where, like, oh, well, if there's four players and the alien's waiting, you know, five turns, like, does that get boring for people? But no, because usually, actually, the humans, especially once they get used to it, are strategizing and talking the whole time. Okay. Um, and, and the, the aliens, aliens watching what the humans are doing pretty closely because yeah, that's they right. know... Like, you can infer from the cards they pick up yeah. what they say they're doing. Oh, yeah, it's a bit are. of a bluffing game as well. Yeah. Cool. And I like that it's simul. I like that it's simultaneous. I'm assuming there's no uh, downside if, uh, like, for example, let's say I, you know, my warlord and my engineer are played by different players, and we both sneak and we occupy the same spot. There's no penalty for that or anything like that, is yeah, there? That's fine. So cool. you can't occupy the same space as any visible ally or enemy so mm. on the main board if if you are also visible. But if you're sneaking around, you can just be hiding under a table while they're sort of taking up the space. If that makes sense. 
that makes sense. We're all yeah. like, there's just you just see two cardboard boxes with feet under them to sort of scuttle around. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Get your own hiding spot. No, I got this one first. <laughs> yeah. So just to go back and continue the action explanation, you can also use an item. So using any card that you have um, takes an action. So yep. You can use two cards in the if you like. Uh, rummaging means that either um, visible or hidden, you are on one of the rummage points, which are these colored places on the map with like little icons. You so any place that has um, the red, that. so it's only is only the red ones, not the green ones or the. Yep. So anyone can rummage from any point. Okay. Um, but if, if if it's not the same color as your character, there's actually like you don't know it as well. So if a scientist is trying to grab some weapons or something, so oh. you actually roll a dice when you rummage, and if you get a one, you drop something and you become visible. Interesting. If okay. A scientist is, is rummaging a science place. Like they know how it works. They're not going to bump over a like Bunsen burner or something. Right. Whereas um, Ironclad the engineer is this giant cyborg person. Yeah, she might tip over a whole rack of um, test tubes. Yeah, I'm so, knocking. I'm knocking over beakers left, right, and center. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you don't have to roll if it's your own color. Interesting. You don't have to roll. Not your color. If you're hidden, if you're visible, you can just draw the card. Cool. You always get the card of that color from that rummage point, but it just depends if you do it um, silently. Interesting. Uh, and it's only a one that I fail on if I'm if I'm rummaging in a spot that's not my color. Yeah, right. So most of the time you get away with it, but um, it will feel as if almost every time you're rummaging, you're being <laughs> revealed and failing because that's you know that's how games. Yes. I was gonna say my dice rolling uh, abilities are are not very good, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, you can also melee strike, which works pretty much how you'd expect. You roll your aim when you're adjacent to an enemy. Um, it reveals you because it's an attack. Yep. Um, and you can also shove. So, um, shove is a, is a bit of sort of one of those, it's sort of like, it's, it's something that has a few different rules to it. So I'll bring those in as it becomes relevant. But essentially, if someone's in your way, um, you can just... Get out of here. You push them back one space and you move into that space. Cool. Um, if multiple, and there are some rules about like if multiple characters are revealed in the same square, then there's like a shove that happens. So we use that to resolve a lot of those like, wait, if I'm sneaking and then there's an alien sneaking and then there's also another player sneaking in the exact same space and we're hit by a grenade, how do we figure how do we out resolve that? What happened? Yep, it's a very, it's actually quite a very like a systematic process for how to resolve that. Cool. So, um, some negotiations, some just like logically, like yeah, if it's your turn and you appear there and there's like an alien, you shove the alien out of the way. Makes sense. So you can actually do these like pop attacks where you like, cool. Actually, I want your face. Boom, and then you shove them into a room and throw a grenade. In. When when you when you initially said that there's like an alien and, and you know two other people, all I can think of is that meme with the the Spider Man from the same show and they're all pointing at each other. Yeah, that's yeah. that's all, that's that's what happens. What are you doing? Here? What are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah, we've tested those rules quite extensively, yep. so you know what happens in this. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Uh, and if, uh, yeah, there are scenarios where you're actually in too tight space and it's all blocked off, and someone can just be squished against the wall and dies. So. Now, this is one more, <laughs> just, just uh, cause of death, shoving. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had victory by crushing the alien by four characters just keep appearing out of the space. <laughs> But I assume that that will happen at once. Some mercenary bomb. When when uh when advanced weapons and tactics fail you, just get everyone else like a bunch of mad lads and just rugby smash them into a wall. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know what? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So can I can I try can I try taking a first turn? I think I have an idea of what I want to do. Oh, sorry. Unless you're explaining what those doors do. Uh, no, I won't explain those. Um, yes. Okay. So, uh, let's get started. So, um, we can go all at the same time, um, or we can do it in order. But yeah, I imagine it would be best if you talk out what you're doing, then I'll talk out what I'm doing, if that makes sense. That would be perfect. So, I yeah. can sneak uh, up to my movement. Your Am speed, I, yep. Uh, so, okay. I could... I could cool. so I'm, I'm going to start with Captain Warlord, if that's cool with everybody. Yep. Uh, up to, yeah. So, you don't have to sneak that much, and actually it's recommended sometimes to bluff the alien... By being like, let's get out of here, and then you move like one space. Yeah, you move one space. Oh, the classic. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna sprint with my warlord. Beautiful. Uh, into this red area. Right. 
Right. And then I'm going to enact a rummage action. Um, yep. Now, because... Should. Yep, and I just grab a military card. Yep, because you're visible, um, and it's your color, you destroy. Cool. Now, um, ooh. Now, do I have to... Now, so now I do have something to put my auto-targeter on. I'm going to lay that down here. I found a ballistic pistol. Great. Um, which I'm going to name Susan. Uh, guns shoot better. This is an American fact. Guns shoot better if you name them. That's true. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Yep. Actually, on the artwork, we can put a little, like, Susan. On there it is. Camera. Perfect. There there she blows. Now, what's cool, and just something that I'm noticing, so obviously, like, let's assume that I had a, a sneak of six, and I snuck in there. The alien would still know that I'm there because he'd know that I'm still drawing a rummage spot. Correct? Yeah, that's right. That's exactly. cool. That's so cool. Um, and, um... So where it gets kind of tricky for the alien is when there's two rummage places you could potentially be at. Right. Like this section that your blue character was was, was in just for a second, right? Because there's an orange and two reds. So if you're drawing a red, there's two spots that your orange that your character could have potentially been in. Exactly, yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, that's that's such a like a neat little – there's not a lot of rules tweaking. It's more um, theater of the mind, which I actually really dig. Yeah, yeah, and um, I design games really systematically, so they're not very abstract in terms of the rules. Like, if you think something would work in a certain way, usually it does. That... So I find that even though it's sort of like a pretty complicated scenario, I guess, lots of interconnected parts, like it all makes enough sense that you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, the only thing that I do need to highlight is with movement, you can't move diagonally. That makes sense. But I... you can attack diagonally. Okay. So, yeah. It's just because we had scenarios where, because you can't move through enemies, like, um, I wanted it to be able to block off, like, edges of rooms and stuff, but um, if you can move diagonally, then you can sort of just, like, circumvent that a lot of the time, and I didn't want that, so... Makes sense. No. Alright, I'm double sneaking with my engineer. Great. Um, um, good. And so I'm just going to drop her off there, and I'm going to count off where I would be in my head. Yep. All right, that's actually I think that's a good that's a good spot for me to be in. So, right, that's that's excellent. I really like, by the way, too, complicated systems uh, or simple like simple 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 rules with complex interactions is I think the the best way to go. I've played a lot of what I call cones of Dunshire games, where people just yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah, bunch of just it, it's just a bunch of interwoven systems, and by like the the twentieth or thirtieth minute of the rules explanation, you're like, please kill me. Yeah. Please, please end my suffering. I definitely tend to choose to be legendary in that game because then I don't have to know as many rules and just scoring. It's all listen, man. It's all about the cones. People forget it. It's all about People the all up here. It's all about the cones. You need two warriors. It's much better. <laughs> That's how I felt my first couple of times playing like Civ Five. I'm like, what does any of this do? This is so good. Oh my god, yeah. So um, another question for you, Jack, that um, I don't know if it's popped up or not yet, but let's assume, for example, that um, with my sweet – with Susan, my, my wonderful Susan, um, I am able to bring down the alien. Uh, is it – at that point, do we just have free reign to accomplish our goals? Can the alien come back from the dead? Um, how does that work? The alien, uh, the alien has eggs, which act as reason. Ooh. Now, is so, once an egg has been activated once, is that it? Are there no more respawn points? Or is the egg just kind of a permanent thing until we destroy it? So the alien player has six egg tokens. Okay. Um, and they can have up to six on the map at any time. So if, you, if they went full egg... <laughs> full egg. You could have six respawn points, and then you could just essentially just go nuts and just be like, I'm killing everyone. But it does cost a lot of actions to lay that many eggs. So right. it's sort of like, there's a lot of strategies you can do in this game as the alien. That's cool. Um, there are also, and they're going to pop up, I, like this turn maybe, uh, some little other enemies that I haven't told you about yet. <sighs> but, yeah. The lesser Xeno. Excellent. You'll find out where all those bodies went. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's not as one sided as it seems. No no that makes that's that's cool though. I like that. That's that's exciting. Okay. Cool. Let me know when the humans are done. Uh, yeah, I have secretly moved all my people. So I have also I've moved one in pr in public and one in private, so I am yeah. I am good as well, Colin. Thank you. Beautiful. Right. You have moved the bait character. <laughs> uh, 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 I see. Um 
you hear the sound of an egg being passed in the vents. No. No. Oh, settling. Oh, yeah. So there are vent spaces on the board. I saw those. Area called the ducts that can be entered and exited by Xenos through the vents. It takes an action, but it essentially allows them to sort of do that kind of teleporting around the ship thing. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's scurrying around the ship. We as humans can't get in there unless we have a special uh, item called medical jelly. <laughs> uh, and you remember that scene from The Simpsons where um, <laughs> Jelly just like greases himself up and gets in the vents? <laughs> All right. That's what stop. Stop the playthrough. I don't even need to see the rest of the game. I'm good. <laughs> That's did you get it. That's it. You you've got the desks and dorks endorsement. When I can when I can slather up my giant, humongous metal thighed, uh, vat worker to <laughs> a bunch of jelly. To... Oh yeah, rule thirty four is gonna apply to this game. All right. I was not even thinking about that. I just think, I'm like, I'm just picturing she, like, makes us sound like a hockey puck. Cause, like... Nine aliens. <laughs> Is there nine? It's just only three. There's stacks of them. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> Listen, I need another pistol if there's nine aliens. <laughs> so, remember, they each have their own action. Okay. So you don't have to use your action to hatch it. Yeah. Well, yep. So, from the egg, hatches the egg. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I'm lagging a little bit, so you're gonna have to bear That's with right. me. That's right. Hybrid spawn. Hybrid spawn. Oh. Mutants of human and alien DNA. That's what they're doing out here. They're converting us all. Gross. And so at the start of the game, I can only start with one egg, but for every human I kill, I can get more eggs. Oh, get more hybrid spawn. Yeah, get more hybrid spawn. This more looks like a really spawn. angry Medusa. Yeah. yeah. So, um. Uh, one of the Kickstarter goals that we've actually just reached Woo! is there will be custom art on all the hybrid spawn boards, because there's five of them. Nice. Um, and on all the little tokens and stuff as well. So it's all going to be upgraded, um, because when you die as a human, you actually start controlling some hybrid spawn. Oh, uh, and that's a cool way to make sure that everybody is still playing, even if they're... That's right, yep. And there is a science item called the Lazarus Gun Vial. Which uh, allows you essentially to melee attack an egg, and then it hatches a player that was dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> because it's the future, and like that's how it works. And listen, we can we can just hook up weird science vials like brass knuckles, and then punch our way back to life. Yeah, that's right. And you can auto target your fist. This is the greatest. This is it. This is it. We did it. It, I, it starts, what I love is it's, it starts as Alien and it ends as Alien and Futurama, and I'm okay with all of that. <laughs> That's right, yeah, a bit of Cyberpunk, a bit of a uh, battleship thrown in it. <laughs> I, want, I want, can I punch my way to life uh, as a t-shirt, please? Where, sh sh shut up and take my money. <laughs> I auto-target the gun vial. I would like to auto- <laughs> Can I auto-target the Jesus fist and bring someone back to life, please? <laughs> Um, one of the the twenty thousand dollars stretch goal is we actually add another character called the cyberneticist, Ooh. which lets you graft all of these items onto your body so you can use them permanently. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's my favorite one now. I really hope you guys hit. Hopefully this will. Hopefully this will be a part of hitting of helping you guys hit twenty k because that that sounds absurd. Thank you. It's gonna be bonkers. It's gonna be so good. And she'll have her own deck of weird stuff. It'll be really cool. I am. Um, anyway. I'm not gonna lie. Riley's gonna have to fight me for this review copy. And if he thinks he's gonna win, he's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. He's still sick. I can take advantage of that. Uh, all right. I've set up my um my hybrid spawn at key points along the map where they'll like see down the corridor in case you guys try to flee. Um, this alien's like, thinking, I don't like it. alien's gonna pop out of the vents uh -oh. and attack the warlord because you foolishly left yourself visible. But hold up! You're doing too many actions, my good friend. Oh, does it, you pop in the vent space? Yep, it's getting into or out of the vents. Oh, yes. Hi! And, uh, laying an egg is an action. So you can pop out and then be like, Wah! But that's where it ends. Callan, you should definitely pop out of the vent. You should do that. <laughs> you should do that. Right, right when I've got the pistol, you should do that. That. I know you can see like a red dot on the wall, <laughs> <laughs> and there's like an ominous like. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
sprint up the whole way. And you <laughs> so he was like, me. he was like, poof, poof. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it literally just like, <laughs> it's just gonna. <laughs> All I can picture is like the alien just pops up like I got it, and all of a sudden just. <laughs> like, okay, so it's actually weird to gain wow, oh, God, that's insane. That's so fast. I'm just gonna sprint up to here, and then actually it'll just stand in between all its mates, right? Because it can get past its friends. Yeah, so you can yeah. move through allies. You oh. can't stop in the same spaces, One, but you two, can't three, move four, through five, enemies five, unless eight, you shot them. Seven, I really, uh, I really was hoping that it was gonna stop in front of me and just present a nice target. Nah, I'm gonna leave you up here to where all my friends are, and then we're gonna eat you. That's my turn. Delicious. The only okay. thing you're eating, sir, is gonna be hot lead, and I'm very excited for it. Ooh, I like, can you say that in Dingo Dragon? Absolutely. The only thing you're gonna be eating there is hot lead. <laughs> On the podcast last week, you switched back then for a little bit. And uh, Kyle's character was Dingo Drake. I don't know why you try to and put it's... on an Australian accent, Jack, because you are. Oh, yeah, I just sounded British. Anyway. <laughs> I coated all of these with venom and dingo <laughs> urine. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, other than the 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 uh, well, Australian accent, I do a pretty convincing Kermit the Frog. So maybe he'll make an appearance on the podcast. Oh my God, yes. If if one of your characters dies and you become uh, Pirate Spawn, can they their voice just be counted? Just. I, say, I want to hear Kermit the Frog of Ice the Alien. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, I'm honestly though the hybrid Kermit. Like, I rise out of my former flesh. <laughs> Can we make a soundboard? Yes. <laughs> I am reborn into the glorious image of the mother alien. All right, that's it. We're re we're redoing the audio for the Kickstarter video. <laughs> Jack, I mean this with all the love of my heart. I will 100% redub your trailer in the Kermit the Frog voice, pretending to oh be god. like some grizzled space marine version of Kermit. Oh my god, it can be, it can, it can be like Ozzy Shinola's versus Kermit Alien. <laughs> they killed the Swedish chef in the first day. Oh no! Oh, this, but it's <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. So, um, we, we gotta move. Um, yes, we do. <laughs> so, one of my characters is rummaging, so you don't have to say who is doing it. You don't even have to say you're rummaging, okay? But he would be able to see in real life that I'm right. rolling the dice. And infer from that. And I just drew an engineering card and put it on my scientist's face. So then he would so know where the blue character would be, essentially. Uh, the, yeah, the green character. Or the green character, um, sorry. It looks a little bluish on mine. So, like, for me, like, and, and this is just there. So, I know that you're at I-12, basically. Uh, yes. Interesting. Let me just check. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or C-12. Yeah, I-12 or C-12, because they're both equidistant. Ooh, so I actually don't know. Thank you, saying the same distance away. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do... Um, okay, and I have to see if you've got the thing that I need. Is that why you judge couples? I don't. <laughs> yes. I've once again drawn nothing but magnetic seals, which are very useful, but I don't like it. So, wow, you have I a lot of ma Listen, if we ever need to seal anything, man, you are, you're our person. Oh, I'm set. I am, I'm your woman. Seal yourself so, in the airlock and just pray. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is the new Flex Seal commercial. Yeah. Um, so, That's uh, a lot of damage. If you're adjacent, you can actually seal doors. Um, and the door seals, so you can't move through them. Uh, or vents, sorry. And the seals have a health of six, so they can be smashed through. So it's not a permanent solution, but that can also be how we physically alter the station to make our lives easier. Cool. Yes, um, quick question for you about the hybrids. Can the hybrids respawn, or is it just the alien that gets respawns? Uh, both. And in fact, up to three Xenos can hatch from an egg, so you could hatch an alien and two spawn. Oh, man. Egg. So, you sort of give birth to yourself and your children slash siblings? So, so I'm only allowed, <laughs> I'm only allowed at the, in, at the outset for the first mission, I'm only allowed up to three hybrid spawn. Yeah, so without think, killing players. Without killing players. Every yeah. time I kill a player, the player gets to control three hybrid spawn. Uh, yeah. So okay. More, yeah. 
more TMNs counting kills, the more hybrids will All right, so I have moved the engineer, um, and I'm going to start my turn by rummaging with the military. Okay, great. Because I'm already there, so I might as well... And now, is that something I'm allowed to do? Can I rummage the same spot multiple times? Yes, you can. Yeah. Cool. Um, you do have a carry limit for a number of items you can carry. Over. Yep, so and it looks like five, I believe, is why... My... At least yeah, mine for the Warlord. Cool. I just feel like that's I should right. be loading up. Um, that's a really good idea. Yep. Um, so I could rummage twice, essentially, this yeah, turn. That's right. Um, we can also, as humans, we can trade items between each other um, for free, as long as we're adjacent, visible, or not visible. Cool. Um, so yeah. I, I am not going to rummage again. I'm actually going to sneak. I think being, I think being, um, uh, open and in the, I, I think being open and next to a vent is a very bad call. Whoops. I, I like that you're starting to think about. Yeah, like from from that angle of like being deceptive and being like, ooh, I better. You know. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, it does. I mean, especially if yeah. you've got the the weapons and the, not the weapons, but the the numbers and the. I mean, you've got Kermit the Frog turned into a big six armed thing already. I'm not sure I'm ready to tangle with that. <laughs> yeah. there, there's not enough laser rifles or religion in the world to make me want to try and take that down. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so both of my characters have moved. Alright, and so, uh, both of mine have, um, their thing, which I'm not gonna say what it was. Wait, there's nobody on the map. Ha ha ha. Hybrid spawn can't sneak either, so that's important to me. That is, that is really nice to know. And I'm assuming the alien can sneak, though, correct? Yes. You can also, you can sneak through visible enemies. Cool. Because, yeah, it's like they're, like, skulking along, and you're, like, moving along. Like, like in Jurassic Park, when the raptors are in the kitchen hunting the kid. Yes. Yeah. The classic. Like Right. Yeah, that's right. The I'm uh. Going to use my alien senses. Oh no! I was just about to say it'd be so cool if the alien had like a sonar or something to just make my life miserable. And I really just Once why did I think time, that? What? You gave him ideas. Once per turn, um, the alien can make one of us tell them our coordinates. So I don't have know to where the here. scientist is. What are the coordinates of the oh, scientist? I don't see that. There are some items that allow you to lie to the alien. So that's why it's coordinates, you know, just here on the map. Mm -hmm. um, uh, D12, which is... Uh, right there. Is, I'm okay. zooming in on D12 oh, yeah, for I everyone at home. I was going to say, I don't think it's D12. It's C12. Still an orange card. Oh, I'm cheating. All right, here we go. <laughs> My own game. Yeah. Um, you, you have hybrid spawn cards next to you. Dang it. Oh, I can't get close enough with my hybrid spawn to attack you. Um, so the hybrid spawn each get two actions. Um, they hit. They can melee hit on a four plus. Four plus, no. Four. On a three plus, so they're pretty accurate, but they only do one damage. So they're definitely a swarm monster that um use. Uh, and also, so you can attack spaces where you think um oh. enemy is, and um whether or not um you hit. The, like you succeed on the attack roll, they will appear because you like flush them out. Interesting. So, what if now? So, what if let's say for example, right, Jack, that I am, um, that you know he's he thinks I'm in C12 and attacks it, yeah. and I'm not even close. I'm on like the other side of the ship. I don't have to reveal myself in that instance, correct? No, you don't. And and that action has been spent. Yeah. Oh, so that's cool. There's a lot of like options to like deceive and like waste the alien's time essentially. So. Waste um, waste their items. time, 2021. I love it. That's right. And there are some items that allow you to like project a false image and you know interfere with the sense mechanic and all that kind of stuff. Sure. So, My yeah. alien's gonna run to here. No! Don't do it. Well. Don't do that. Um, so <laughs> even if I miss, you still have to reveal yourself. That's true. And I can't. No. So you also take three points of damage. Wow. Okay. So um, the, the scientist is flushed out and like somewhat ripped apart. Uh, and so we use these little skull tokens to represent damage. And the alien still has a turn, so it's gonna pop into the vent. It doesn't. Vent space. It does. So it's it, into there it and sensed, points. moved, and attacked. Oh, it sensed. Oh, I forgot about the. Dang it. All right. Forgot about the thing that makes me know exactly where you're at. You're right. Oh well. Yeah. So I've just been mob swarmed by a whole bunch of aliens. Please don't like use a grenade. That's all I'm asking. Um. <laughs> Do we even have a grenade? Uh, ooh. Ooh. 
I have a laser rifle. So we have grenades and flamethrowers. Because this move, yeah, this game is partially inspired by aliens, so of course we have to have a flamethrower. Uh, you and have to. And a mech. Yeah. Um, and they can actually be thrown or fired into the ducts through the vents, and it just immolates everything in there. Now, so, where on our character sheets are all the grenades? Do we... Uh, that's an item, so you have to pick it up. Oh, okay, okay, so we do... Oh, oh, okay, so when you said we have them, I thought you meant, like, we just start with them, like, we do? Oh, um, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I feel like a child on Christmas. This is the greatest news ever. It's really fun when you start a mission sometimes and you have a flamethrower grenade and you just sprint up and just like bomb the alien first time. It's really funny. So just just while we're discussing tactics though, I do have a laser rifle that allows you to do three separate attacks. Yep. Um, and the the hybrids have one health, correct? Yeah, so you can wipe them out in one. I could kill all three hybrids in one attack technically. Okay. So you can sprint into the room and help me. You right. can't fire through enemies, though, just so you know. I'm sorry, what was that? You can't fire through, um, you can't fire at a target that's behind an enemy, another but, target. But if I'm lucky, what I could do is I could take out the first one, right? Yep. And then take out yep. the second one, and then take out the third yep. one. That's right, yep. Um, and there are line of sight rules, both for sneaking and for firing as well. So the general rule of thumb for line of sight, whether you're in it or out of it, is can you draw a straight uninterrupted line um, from any part of the square that you're in to any part of the target square that they're in? So yeah, that's we'll, we'll get into that. Um, but yeah, uh, you also all right. You so can't start sneaking if you're in line of sight of an enemy. Okay, yeah, well, which make well, which makes sense. Go. So I'm gonna do my first action is gonna be a, a sprint, which is moving twice my move, correct? Awesome, I like it. So I'm gonna do so I was in F15, chilling out. So one, two, yep. three, four, five, six, Ooh. seven, eight. Ooh, help me. I am. Oh, come come in, and I can grab a weapon from your belt. Oh. Well. Um. Do do I don't I want to put some distance? Uh, well, you need close enough, Jack. Because if I if I kill these Jack right, because Jack if I if I kill this hybrid at least this hybrid right here, then your your doctor can sneak out and because you've broken line of sight with the alien. Am I correct? Oh yeah. What is this? You think this is Dingo Drake's first alien, huh? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bust out this laser rifle. I'm going to bust out my laser rifle, and then what does my auto-targeter do? Discard when attacking. Automatically hit, negating the the need for a die roll. Applies to all shots from the weapon. So I could discard my auto-targeter and my laser rifle and waste all three hybrids right now with one action for no die rolls. Do it. Light them up. I'm doing that. That sounds amazing. Yep. So all three hybrids are done. Triple kill. Triple kill. Triple kill. Ace. That was sweet. I I love a game that makes me feel like I'm one of the characters. This is doing very well. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna run here and then slam down a door seal. Excellent. And then magnetic seal. Yes, I love that. Um, I am going to rummage, I'm going to rummage twice. Oh, that's not, I did not mean to click on a science card. I'm going to rummage twice with my engineer. Okay. And I'm going to hope that we get the, oh, detonator. So I actually am not going to rummage twice now that I have a detonator and something else that we need. Potentially. Hey, alien, we have the bomb, and I'm gonna waste you, my dude. I'm gonna use another seal on the vent that is next to Caduceus. So, um, some of the cards, you'll notice, say either sneaky or loud. So, you, your guns were both loud. Yes, um, which makes sense. My door seals were loud, but you can use cards that say sneaky without being revealed. So what I'm going to do actually, and what I love is, so I'm, I'm planning a move right now and I'm realizing it's not always advantageous to move the max movement. 
um, yeah. which is stellar. Like, I love that because I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, I want to move the max movement, but I'm like, no, with the way that line of sight works and alien sonar and all this other stuff, there, there's some strategic moves that I should make. Uh, so I am done with both of my character actions and fellas, I'm loving this. This is sweet. Yeah. If Riley thinks he's getting this, this copy of the game after we're done reviewing it, he's out of his mind. I'm really glad. Also, I'm going to speak in code. I got what we need. I also have what we need. Both of the things that we need. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I can't undo my action. Okay, it's now the alien turn. Alright. You know what? Oh, I don't just know about sprint. all this business. I'm going to sprint. Yeah, <laughs> it's just going to sprint. Oh, yeah, I didn't even use enough door seals. No, it was really good of you to put the seal on that vent. I, I was 100% just going to pop up. Really I know you were. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were. <laughs> well, what's what's nice too, just like looking at this, is a lot of times I feel like in games like this where you have like a purely defensive item, it, it's not very useful because it's almost always more proactive to just start slogging it out and attacking. Um, yeah. But with this, like with the positioning is so vital. I don't I don't know. This is probably the best I've seen some defensive items like this worked out in a game like this. And I mean oh, that sincerely. You. That's really that's really neat. Because I played a ton of games, especially this year when we've been reviewing stuff for Kickstarter. We're like, it's a defensive thing. It's a utility thing. And it's like, it's not any better than the base action that I would have taken anyway to do this. But I'm like, oh no, like, g give me the alien futuristic flex seal because otherwise we're all going to die. Save me, future Billy Mays. <laughs> that's right, yeah. I'm really glad you, yeah, I'm really glad you like it. Um, yeah. A lot of the characters have just absolutely awful aim as well because we really want to encourage um, using the items and stuff, you know, yeah. as, you know, so you're like creatively thinking how to piece them all together and not just trying to grab weapons, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Um, I'm going to tear apart your side then. All right. So he sprinted up to 16. I didn't really think about the implications. Ah! If I only had moved a little bit further and sealed that door. Ah, uh, that would have been smart. Oh, I didn't do it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> so you hit with the first I attack. I hit with the first attack. Three points of damage. Oh. I attacked you already, Blah. and I have killed you. Yes. Uh, so and there's then, a corpse in the belt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which means you can now spawn hybrid spawn if you want. That's right. Well, um, until both my characters are dead. I'll let you have extra spawn. Okay. So yeah, so um, I'm down one character. Uh, if I was, if there was sort of four of us, um, then I would just be, um, uh, I would now be a hybrid spawn controlling those. But um, because I'm still controlling a character, Callum will control three extra spawn. Okay. Now, Jack, so you can have a max of six. Me, am I out of line of sight of your caduceus and your medic or not? So what you do is you see if you can draw a straight line from any part of your square to any part of my square. So you can do that without intersecting any of the kind of walls. So, so no, you are within line of sight. I am within line of sight. So no, I'm not out of line of sight. Yeah, yet. so you can't sneak. Okay. So you can line. run out of line of sight, Kyle, um, but be, you know we're, we're like listening and we know where you started. So you know it, it, we won't confuse a footstep for a... Right. You know, just some clanking deep in the ship will be like, I heard them run away. I know where they are. So, um, question, um, yeah. about yeah. our, perhaps our, um, our, huh. dis our, our desire to, our mission, as it were. Um, all I have to do is potentially get to that spot and then uh -huh. discard the cards and then that we've blown the reactor. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, essentially, yeah. So you could just, um, you know, hero sacrifice it. Which Callan does every single game, so it'll be funny if you do. Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't. It, it doesn't. It doesn't destroy me, does it? Uh, yeah. If you're in the room when you detonate a fusion bomb, it'll kill you. Okay, but I can place it and yeah. then detonate it and then leave. Uh, yes. If you're still in the room and you use the detonator, then it will. The bomb. The explosion will kill you. Um, but you can run, you can place the bomb, run out of the room, and then use the detonator, and then you're fine. At least for that turn. The, um, once the reactor blows up, so fusion bombs can be used in any room, and we use the destroyed cards to show that, um, that room is now destroyed. So you can, you can, you can destroy any room at any time if you want, with a fusion bomb. Um, but 
if you destroy the reactor, it starts a chain reaction where each each player turn, the um, reaction will spread into the next room, which is the next section with um, doors, um, and it will spread through each door as well. So um, if you detonate on the reactor, the reactor blows up. Next turn, this section blows up. And then the turn after that, these five sections around that section blow up. And so it sort of chases you through the ship. But I, but I, but I, but essentially, it doesn't take me an action to discard my cards and blow it up. That's that's all I need to know. Oh, okay. No, you need to use actions to do both those things. Okay. Using a card is an action. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what I've done is I laid an egg and spawned hybrid spawn from it. The hybrid <laughs> spawn, like hatching out of the egg, is their own action. So they hatch, and now they've blocked off your your exit points from where you are. So you're going to have to fight your way out if you want to get on the ship and escape. Great, I hate it. <laughs> um, but it's your turn. Go so ahead. one of my guys has already moved um, and is still hidden, which is great. Um, your hybrids have failed, sir. <laughs> oh, I don't want to catch all of you. I'm happy just with tearing the most of you apart. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, <laughs> so I am going to... Let's do this. Oh, I don't mean to move your your medical doctor. Um, I'm gonna. Yep. Let's do this. I'm going. Oh God, this is really bad. Um, so Jack, I don't know about you. I feel like we need to cut through the two that are blocking this entrance here. Yep. Um, because then at least like they either have to funnel or they have to divide and conquer, and then we can just beat our way through the hybrid. Yep. All right. Um, are you okay with me going first and using this ballistic pistol? Well, is there any point in using the ballistic pistol? It doesn't offer me any extra accuracy. Um, it does extra damage. But so but if I'm fighting a hybrid with only one health, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, no. So, yeah, pistol has the attack at range, but yeah, if you can just punch them, that's probably better. Well, and I'm adjacent to both, so I'm assuming I can? Yep, you can, like, ninja kick one and then... Oh, man, the if only I had thick legs, McGee. Oh, yeah, and then you could, yeah... <laughs> And be over for these jamooks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch the one that is in I-10. So this will be our first example of combat. And, and sadly... Um, we have a lot of space in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. What do I, so what do I do for combat? Um, for melee? I, I, I roll? Um, yep, and you're trying to meet or beat your uh, aim value. My so aim you're values. You're definitely the best shot on the team everyone else is a four or five all right well i'm hoping i get a two i have to roll this so let's roll it yeah i got a two nice okay so you kill one of them I imagine. uh the one on i10 the diagonal one yep oh that's one dead drum guy. and then i'm gonna kick this one in the face i'm gonna just we're gonna do a, a super dope roundhouse kick number two <laughs> get out of here you got a one i got a five Oh, nice. Okay. So I don't, just we're, listen, and they said watching karate, the hollow vids of Karate Kid, was a useless waste of my time in military academy. Um, okay, and then I believe, go. Jack, that means that there's no line of sight anymore, uh, from that hybrid to your uh blue character. So your blue character could feasibly sneak away. Uh, no. So the hybrid spawn is there, looking right up. Uh, I thought it. You, uh, this corner here to that corner there. Yeah. Oh, oh, from this corner to this corner. Okay, I got you. I got you. No, no, no. That makes sense. Kyle, I could grab the ballistic pistol from your belt for a free action, pop it in the eye, and then I could... Um... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Even even though it doesn't give you an accuracy bonus, I think that still I think that still makes some sense. I'm not very good at shooting, so... Uh. <laughs> High risk, high reward. You love to see it. Oh god, your aim's a five? I don't know if I like this plan anymore. Three, two, one. I did it anyway. Yes! It's a six! <laughs> Slam! Yeah. I'd like to thank the Academy. Okay, and then I will I would like to apologize to literally every one of our of our viewers and listeners because I am positive I just spiked the audio there. <laughs> and I am so sorry about it. Very exciting. I listen. If you can't shout during a game, what's the point? Oh yeah. Now have a look at my board, just so the audience knows what's happening. Yep. I'm gonna go over to 
the board. That's right. This is a big brain play. What's your movement, Jack? Um, so, uh, just just to let you know, Jack, um, yeah. the goal is already taken care of. Good. Or at least oh. it... So, oh. if I was you, I would try to maybe... let's Maybe we can start making our way back to the other place. Okay. Can I attack the I... Yeah. Now, remember, the thing that makes the goal possible is loud. Yep. I know. And... You gotta put one of these tokens. Okay, cool. All right. Yep. Um, so if you have a look at my little hidden location grid, okay, just quickly, take note of the coordinates. Okay. I need to. And sorry, then, I need to rotate because when I go to zoom in, uh, it does not let. It does not zoom in with your, uh, yep. piece still on it. Okay. All right. Duly noted. Okay. Now go follow my blue cursor. Ah. Interesting. So just follow follow my yellow cursor, sir. Yeah. Oh, Callan can see this. Yeah. Callan, close your eyes. <laughs> like Jackboard Morgan, there's six spaces where you can walk, and one of them is underneath the alien. That's exactly what. Well, I'm gonna change what I was doing. Dude, Ka Ka Callan, close your eyes. I wanna I wanna show my big brain here. Sure. All right, Jack, 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 you ready? Damn it. Right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Right there. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. This is like Among Us, but with extra steps and much more existential dread, and I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm not can see everything right now. No, it's not that. It's been like, I've worked with you for like yeah. six years. I know exactly All right. what you're I've done a different thing. <laughs> what's, by the way, what's really funny about hanging out with you guys is it, this is, again, this is like dealing with the Australian versions of Riley and I, because... This is the, going doing the move where, that you initially did, Jack. Going under the alien is exactly some stuff that I would do, and Riley would a hundred percent know that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Callan knows that about me. I think yeah. Um, we're the Colin Riley of Australia. Well, let's let's give you guys some more credit. We're the we're the Jack and Callan of America. Nah. We got we got to give the originators some some props here. We're all the each other. <laughs> Alrighty, so. All right. Ready to die or? I, God, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I like my organs not being half so big. Alright, the alien is gonna sneak. Oh Christ. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it over here. I don't like that. I don't like this at all. <laughs> That's not what I expected to happen. I expected a full on onslaught. Oh wait, hold on. Before it sneaks, it's gonna lay an egg. So it was an F9. It's gonna lay an egg. Stop in egging. In. I don't like eggs. Um, you can sneak through eggs, by the way, just so you know. Good. Yeah. So the eggs the eggs don't have extra eggs. sensory perception. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good thing. Right. <laughs> they don't provide life. <laughs> Maybe they should. I am the egg lord. I see through my eggs. Just as a... Just as a maybe an expansion pack idea, it'd be awesome if you had different Xenos, like the like Z, like an egg mother who laying eggs is faster and they do give line of sight, or one that's like a hybrid leader, like a pack leader. Hybrids are better. I don't know. Just bit balling. Exactly, I have exactly the Kickstarter tier for you, sir. Oh, excellent. Um, the, yeah, the plus ten dollars one is actually a deck of um, augments and mutations. So these are a whole bunch of abilities um, that we came up with that were like, these are not balanced. They're not going to work very well. Um, such as like, you know, there's like one where the alien's tongue can like spear people in the head and drag them towards it. And um, <laughs> um, one where you can move diagonally, holy crap, um, and stuff like that. And you can sprint without being revealed and stuff like that. Oh, so, that's disgusting. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you want to um, back that, uh, yeah, it's like an expansion pack that we're um, making available. We are still included in the main um, game because it's, yeah, the, all of these things just are way too overpowered. Yeah, they're cool ideas, but yeah. They... Yeah, but um, if you want to grab that and use them, it's really fun because you get to do all this ridiculous stuff. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> it adds extra chaos. Yeah, I would also like to sense the... Uh, engineer. Uh, so I have to tr I have to reveal my location, correct? Uh, you just say the coordinates. Uh, I'm Unless in. You have one that allows you to block or lie about where you are. I do not. Uh, I am in E5.
And you have one more action column then. Right? Am I dead? Oh, that's it, because I snuck. I laid an egg and snuck. And oh, okay, all right. That's all my action. Um, your hybrids can go as well. No, they're yeah, all dead. Bye-bye. hybrids out of an egg. Man, I've used more hybrids in this game than I normally use it in, like, my game. Normally, I just play, like, Alien Hunter Killer. Oh, I usually, like, yeah, Alien Hunter Killer. Yeah, that's uh, my favorite way to play it. But. It was a tricky way to balance. Um, we spent so we spent a long time trying to figure out how to um make the alien feel really threatening, but not just be so overpowered that it never needed to sneak itself. Right. That was a real challenge at the start. Um, because we gave it like mountains of health and um things like that. Uh, so we've actually turned the alien into like sort of a glass cannon. So like, but it, it's really tough. But um, coordinated effort by the players will be able to take out an alien that's sprinting around the ship. You know, you just run to get weapons and you know where it is and you can sort of take it out. Um, and yeah, adding the hybrid spawn actually also helped us to reduce the amount of kind of the alien just laying six eggs and then just going nuts trying to yeah. Annihilate us all with infinite lives, kind of thing. So, yeah. And I can't, I can't sneak past a revealed character, correct? You can, you can sneak through them. But I can't sprint past them, yeah. No. All right. Well, then I can. How dare you? No, you can do them. No, I can't make it. All right. I know what I'm doing. Oh yeah. That's right. Oh, sorry, that's my turn. I'm just lopping off exits. Oh yeah, they like... scuttle instead of sprinting. So in the lore of the game, the hybrid spawn are actually like kind of sexy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but with you know, alien fangs for mouths and stuff, so they'll like lurk at the end of dimly lit corridors, being like, "Hello, space singles." Oh no. And then yeah, that's why there's not a lot of men in the game. Makes you sense. Know, like, hey. There's, there's the the upper brain patterns were taken away by the oh it's like the stupid stupid sexy si stupid sexy hybrids, um, so uh, Jack before I make this move um is there is there a way that you can take care of this hybrid potentially that's blocking C fifteen I I'll be honest I totally forgot where you were at. Uh, there's zero way for me to do that. I'm so sorry. Excellent. So I wonder if it makes more sense for me to uh this. I'm going to rummage with my... Oh, I'm going to sneak and then rummage. There's no one has line of sight, so sneaking and then rummaging is fine. Actually, sorry. <coughs> I lied. Oh. I can't do that if we really need that alien out of the way. I can do like... So, sure. here's the thing. I don't mind giving up my, my robotic-legged friend uh, for the glory of the mission, um, but then we need to, to run real fast. Um, okay. and then I don't know, so is there, and I know that your character is not very good at fighting, so, True. um, um, I could get past that alien if need be. So let, uh, let's have you do that. I am going to sneak with my red character. Yep. Okay. And then I am going to make that rummage action that we talked about. Right. And I'm going to see what I get. Oh boy. Oh my God. I got the security exoskeleton. All right, let's go. That's immunity from damage for a turn. There's also like a security like security vest or something, and that's just negates one attack. Wow, that's really cool. Um, that's amazing. So I'm just gonna, I'm just, I get to live all of my my dreams of being Ripley. This is great. Um, yep. Yeah. Get off of her. Um, we're gonna go ahead. I am gonna mark where I am hidden because I have to do that. I am legally obligated to do so. Um, which is a good thing. So I'm going to go do that real quick, and I'm going to zoom in because I have old eyes on my tiny little screen. All right, there we go. Just so everybody's aware, that's where my guy's at. Uh, and then my engineer is going to sneak into the reactor and then blow themselves up. Whoa. Okay, now that's two separate actions. It is? Right, it's, is it two separate actions to use each card? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Place the bomb. Bollocks. Uh, All right. Well, then it. I am just going to go ahead and do. Suicide vest, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm I am going to do two sneak actions then. I think this should actually be good. hold up. I'm going to undo what I what my um, medic was going to do. Okay. So I'm holding up then. 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna say over the radio so the alien can hear. Are you in the reactor? Uh, I can be. I technically have not taken my action yet because you said hold up. Oh, do that. Swap. Do that. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because this person sprints in. You can't sprint in through my alien. I think you can you attack that alien? Uh, I could, but uh, there is very little um, incentive for me to do so. I'd almost rather you just run away and and potentially try and get us out. I think you can try and make a beal. I think you could get out. It's just, if the alien is anywhere near the reactor, it's going to rip you apart. Jack, if you punch <laughs> the alien and then he places the bomb... And then you take it off his vest as he moves past. Because you can drop things as you move past, remember? You don't know my plan. I know your plan. You don't know my plan. You can drop things as you just you... revealed he didn't know. <laughs> That's okay. not what I'm doing. Alright, alright. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, sneak. Uh, actually, um, as I'm gonna throw something to you. Okay. You see that, what I just threw to you? I, I did, I saw that. Great. Oh! So that make your job easier. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sneak for my first action. Uh, can I seal a door that he's on? Yeah. And it'll kill the monster that's there. Oh, that's the coolest rule imaginable. It's really funny. That's <laughs> amazing. Alright, that's the best That's the best theme ever. I'm sealing the door that you're on. Get out of here. Excellent. Squish. <laughs> And I have to hope that you're not in the reactor. <laughs> you just sealed yourself in with the alien. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. I've got nine health. <laughs> Look, if the alien is right adjacent to you, it can do three attacks and do three damage each. On well, two plus. It's got to hit me three times. Let's go. I want to watch you bust down, alien. Let's do it. Hit me three times with your three attacks up to two plus or whatever. Num what, what are these, numbers? I move boxes for a living, sir. I'm all done for actions. I am also all done for actions. Oh, I don't like how the light is. <laughs> the alien lays an egg. Oh my god, what? I was never in the reactor, guys. That would have been smarter than what I had planned. Um. <laughs> you credit me with too much intelligence. <laughs> You'll never know my nefarious plan, evil do good doers, because I don't understand it myself. <laughs> you think more villainous than I. Who is the true villain? <laughs> the real villain was wow. society the whole time. And the alien's gonna search, gonna sense for um the the warlord. My dude, I I regret to inform you, sir, that I am just chilling in J10. No, you don't have to put it on there. You just don't want to. Oh, is there is there a reason we don't put it back on there? Because I mean, he knows where I'm at now, right? Yeah, in the medical deck and the science deck, there are a whole bunch of items that allow you to lie about your location. Ah, okay, cool, cool. One of them is a, a blood bag, and you essentially give three locations within five squares of your true position, mm. um, one of which is true and two of which are a lie. So, cool. Yeah. And also, like, if you tell me that I can't get an alien there to attack it, you remain hidden. Oh, right. Can still away. So that makes yeah. sense. Cool, cool. Yeah. So, like, in this case, my dudes can't scuttle there and attack you at the same time. Right. Or can yeah. they? So you might not have to self-sacrifice, actually. Actually, this one can so it's going to yeah. do that. Plans and counter plans. So, out of curiosity then, can I leave my own sealed room then? No. Oh. You will need to... <laughs> That's excellent. That room, um, there's a plasma torch, which allows you to just instantly unseal a door. Okay. Oh, it looks like I've got bad connection. Um... All right. Yeah, just reload the reload the website. Yep, it is coming back in. It is reloading me back in. I'm back. And I just realized, Callan, I I've seen your your uh, your player logo for the first time, and what a fantastic mustache that is, sir. So now I do have to reveal that I am I am in the location I am in, correct? Because he is attacking that spot. 
That's right. Even if he doesn't hit, he's like flushed you out. All right. I'm here. Rah, I need a three or more to hit you and do one damage. Ah. Rah, one damage. How do I track my health? Where's the Where are the health trackers? Do I use the skulls? Yep. You just put a skull on your character portrait if you want. Excellent. I would like to do so. Um, and I would like to sense the Caduceus. What? You already sensed this round. Yeah, but I, I laid an egg. Oh, I can almost sense this around. Yeah, that's how I balanced it as well. Because, um, yeah. Okay. Well, these guys are just going to go searching. Oh, sorry. I've never had any player, actually, as an alien, just, like, sense move attack. Sense move attack. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no one's just aggressively, like, hunted single players yet. Which... I think it's good. I think it's showing that, like, it's, you know, when people weigh it up, it's not a viable strategy to just, like, TPK the players, mm. I guess. No, okay. I'm just going to move on to the spaceship. It's a lot of actions just to do three damage. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. If you're not sort of thinking a bit more strategically about it all. Sorry, Cal? Can you not? Oh, my. Are you just going <laughs> to turtle that? Well, we're going to turtle and get a grenade, so... <laughs> That's true. That's true. Sucks to be Alright, um, so is it player turn then? Yep. So I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna rummage first with my warlord. I too shall rummage. Oops. Oh, hey, a grenade! Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Well, uh, I got a piece of metal. Um, so basically, if I toss the grenade into that spot with the skull, will it just annihilate that whole corridor? Uh, so explosions stop at doors. So you'll take out this one, and any, um, any creature in a door adjacent to an explosion. So how do I, how do I chuck this grenade in a way that kills all three of these guys? I have to pick one of the rooms, so it's either, yeah. So I could sprint, stop. and then we chuck the grenade, the pass them into F15, and waste them all. Yeah, that's right. Because otherwise you'll you die in the explosion as well. Does that make sense? Uh. So, yeah. Is how do I how do I not die in the explosion? Could I go to F eight and then chuck it? Because it wouldn't go uh, past F eight. No. So you're in the doorway, so you'll still be hit by the explosion. So you essentially have to decide if you want to kill these two or if you want to kill these two. So yeah, grenades go into adjacent rooms and destroy everything up to and including the doors. So you can't just, for example, throw it on that door. I sort of know what you're saying, to take out just these three people, but you'd end up just, like... Incinerating um, everything. Yeah, in both rooms, including yourself. Because you can't, like, bounce it around. Right. You know what I mean? So if you sit in H11, you can't throw it into... The but if doors. I throw it in H11, but if I stand in H11, I can chuck it at... I'm going to move this skull. I can chuck it at F11, and it will kill those two. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Alright, let's do that. Um, I would possibly suggest saving the grenade. Okay. And using it on the alien, because it will kill everything in the room. The alien has a lot of health. So if you can just, like, bash your way through... What I'm, what I'm wondering with the grenade, yeah. though, is that yeah. um, we at this point, I'm not going to wait around for the plasma cutter. I'm probably going to blow the reactor. <laughs> um, if only because... That sounds that sounds cinematic as 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 heck. Oh, but the alien is chilling out and waiting in our escape pod, isn't he? That's right. Oh, you you xenomorph piece of crap. All right. Um. It's really <laughs> and there's there's no way we can get him out of there. With the grenade, we can. Okay, I'm gonna just. All right, then I guess I will. I'll attack this blue blue boy. You can attack the blue one and then run away and like sneak away. Well, I but I can't. I rummaged, so I only get two actions. That's true. Which is fine. It's still good because I still get the. I'm attacking blue guy. You gotta be kidding me. All right. Well. Plan is unraveling. Well, whatever. I'm blowing the. I'm blowing the reactor. Bronze victory, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. I do not care at all. Goodbye, Ooh. yellow character. Boom. Now, originally, when you placed the bomb, I guess that would be first. Can you use the little bomb token? Um, yep. And then you would hit the container in that void box. Cool. So, so next turn, this room is going to be destroyed um, at the end of our turn. Okay. Okay. So 
<clears throat> okay, uh, my medic has done her actions for this turn. Now, just from a just from a pure design standpoint, you know, what what do we do to stop someone from from doing you know essentially what Callan is doing right now? Like, granted, we we have the bronze victory, but what what is there? I mean, other than the grenade or specific items, is there anything within the rules that lets us stop someone from gatekeeping like a single spot like that? Um, no. So that that kind of positioning and sort of um, territory denial is part of the game as well. So okay. Louise door seals to essentially limit his movement and options. Um, he doesn't have door seals. The alien doesn't have door seals, but it can use like organic door seals by putting an alien in the way, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's no, like, we can't lock the ship behind us. Well, you could actually, you could use a door, uh, magnetic seal to stop, because you can't sneak through sealed doors. Right. So, um, sure not, yeah, like, the answer is yes, there's mechanics that allow us to do that. Um, but yeah, because it just it, it just it just kind of stinks to know that like there's only like a specific item that really lets us get more than a bronze victory. I mean, I'm glad that we get the bronze victory. Like he's going down no matter what. But oh, we could just grab a bunch of weapons and bust in there and take him out like that. That's true too. Yeah. Um, yeah, like Callan's choosing to turtle, but that means that we like he's not attacking us with his aliens, so um we could very well stock up on weapons, you know, and, like, really prepare. So if I wanted to, I could have waited to detonate the reactor and then we could have just come after him. Well, yeah, that's right, because he's just, like, sitting there doing nothing with his best asset. Right. Makes sense. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, like, I'm, yeah. But we've done what we've done. Uh, the oh, yeah, I'm not taking it back. I'm, I'm blowing the ship. Yeah. Cool. cool. It's going to be cinematic either way. We're four turns away from winning or losing the game. <laughs> I mean, we've already won. This is a bronze victory. Yay! Now we just see if we Yeah, the, the, right. the, base, the baseline victory has already been established. No. I'm gonna attack you with all of my hybrid spawn. Um, I hit... Uh, can I just discard... Can I just discard my exosuit now to make sure that you can't do anything to me? <laughs> Uh, yep, 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 so on that yeah, first yeah. attack, you discard it, and so, yeah, I guess the suit would just, like, lock around you, like yep. Iron Man, and then... So I, I, I take no damage from anything today. You take no That's damage right. from anything. You would have taken three, but you take none. It takes zero. Yep. There is an item called a bomb suit that allows you to actually survive an explosion. Ooh. As soon as the explosion reaches you, you discard the bomb suit, and you move to outside of a door that's adjacent. That now... It does. Now, is there... Oh, man. You're running into the explosion. You're going to die next time. I have an egg. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was very loosey-goosey with the lives of his aliens and crew. <laughs> it's fair. It's a legit strategy. It is. I'll take it. All right, so then um, it would be... Nice. That's the first time I've ever used armor in the history of like my hundred plays of this game. <laughs> Yay! I always uh, forget that I have it. <laughs> I'm also just gonna discard this detonator because I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Um, okay, so then it would be my go, yeah? Uh correct. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna attack the red uh, hybrid that is right next to me. To the my right. All right, I kill the red hybrid. All right. The one that is on, the one that is next to J10. Yep, that one right there. All right, perfect. And I am gonna sprint, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and go here. Uh, this is what we call in the industry a fighting retreat. <laughs> 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 and I'm gonna pray to God that it works. Um, I am going to put on my pants. Um, <laughs> Just wow. live. Uh, I'm going to try to shove. 
I guess. Oh, no, no, I'm gonna rummage. Wait a sec, hold up. Doesn't this get destroyed? Not at the end of your turn. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just very excited to drop the destroyed token on this. What do you got? So I rummage, yeah. and then I'm just going to try and punch you. Doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, and now the explosion spreads. Boom! So this person's dead, the alien is dead, oh and I'm dead. No, psych! I picked up a bomb suit. What? Nice! Oh my god, nice, dude! Yeah. So, uh, the whole room explodes, everyone's like, no! No! Oh my god! Dun 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 Oh my god, <laughs> that's ridiculous, dude. Wait, did you just kill that? No, I, I, I know that, but I'm sorry. It looked like you rolled the dice, and I was like, oh my god, did you just kill an alien too? Sorry. No. Oh, it's okay. Hey, whatever. I'll take it. Yeah, I, I, this is fine. <laughs> but thankfully, I have an egg. And it's my turn, so the alien's gonna spawn in the den. Um, and hatching takes one of its actions. And getting out of the vent takes one of its actions. And now I'm going to run into the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Lame. Lame. Um, and what I'm also going to do, I think, is um, these two aliens are about to die, so they're just going to try and pummel the shit out of you. Um, it's fair. So this blue one that hasn't moved is going to try and um, They need a three or more. So um, one of them hits. And then the other two are going to attack you each once, because they had to move. Can you roll a two? <laughs> yeah, one of them yeah. missed. It, it, it oh, attacks okay. one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you take four, uh, three out of four hits, so three hits. So three damage. Well, I'm still up and running. Yeah, this is great. Um, all right. Wait, uh, so I have an idea. Well, so, well, I'm not, I don't want to hit you. We can, oh God, because, okay, so if you hide out in F-14 and I chuck a grenade at the alien, is, does it kill the alien? Yes. And then it would kill me if I'm in F-15, but not you if you're in F-14? Oh, no, no, it's okay. So the explosion won't go through the airlock. Oh, great. So if you want the C-15, you can throw it through the airlock, and it's sort of like blast doors, like, slam to stop the explosion. Cool. So you could take out the alien, and then, um, but one of us, to clear the path to do that, one of us is going to have to kill this alien. Can you attempt to kill the alien, that hybrid, now? Mm, not without dying. Okay, well then let me try, let me, then let me attack the hybrid first. Yeah. You attack it, I'll sprint past you, grab the grenade as I go. Oh, that works. Away, you don't need to do an aim roll. I killed the hybrid, so we're good. Yeah. Hybrid's dead. Uh, uh, Hybrid's dead? Uh, uh, the way is clear! Alright, it's like... Uh, hut, hut. Hut, hut. It's literally just like the handoff of the grenade into the spot. So I slam over the thing, I chuck in the grenade, and guess what? Boom! Uh, and then I also get a sprint action, because I only did one action, which was attacking. That's right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, baby, I am in the spaceship, nice. let's go! At the end of that turn, all these aliens die, I run onto the ship. You run up to the warp and hit the button, and we're out of And that's a silver victory, baby. That's a silver victory. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that the, the bomb suit draw was so clutch. Wow. Okay, so now we're gonna have to like That was virtual fives all around. Gentlemen, that was fantastic. Yeah, silver medal, baby.
Well, silver Hey, listen, man. Silver medal? <laughs> lost only two guys? Alien lost, I mean, how many? I don't know how many. We got. We blew up this whole ship? You killed, like, 16 hybrid. It was bonkers. The, yeah, that was... That was honestly, that's the best um, soldiering I've seen. I, the, I've never seen, I've seen a, um, well, uh, a captain um, stock up heaps on weapons. Mm -hmm. and then yeah. This, this, this lady right uh, here, big fan. Oh, great, yeah. Big, <laughs> big fan. Um, yeah, this was, this was really cool. Um, I'm gonna, so folks, uh, if you have enjoyed this, um, please, please, please check out the Xeno Hunter Kickstarter. Um, you, we will make sure that on our end, on our YouTube end over at Desks and Dorks, we drop a doobly-doo so you guys can just click right to it and you can back this up. Uh, if this hour and a half long of gameplay, which feels like it's gone by in like 20 minutes, uh, is any indication, you are well... You're uh, you're in for an experience that is well worth the money. Um, so thank you to Jack, thank you Callan for for playing that. You guys have been awesome, spectacular. Thanks, Kyle. That was so much. Fun. Yeah, that was. I'm a huge fan of cinematic games, and this this just. And I know uh, this. I I already know the people I'm playing this with, so I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty excited. So. I'm making my friend. I, I am making one of my friends be the alien because I feel like she is going to be an absolute monster for better or for worse playing that character. So, um, anything that you guys want to add on this end of the recording before I officially hit pause? Um, yeah, just like, um, thank you so much to everyone for listening, um, to the audience. Uh, and yeah, like we just, um, love to get some backing. You can also, um, we do like regular game days online. So if you check out Eventbrite, um, yep. you can like sign up to play this online with Jack. Yeah, that's right. Wednesday night, US time. Yep. We also, uh, you can buy all of our currently existing games on our website, halfmonstergames.com. And um, yeah, yeah, if you're in Brisbane, we also run <laughs> game days on Sunday at the borough. Yeah, um, come along for that. It's yeah. worth the flight out to it's Brisbane, even if you're not in Brisbane. So, I'll, I'll vouch for that. Next time I'm in Australia, I'm, I'm going to have to make a point now to go to a country where everything wants me dead, but that, it's worth it. Uh, Australia is like Xeno Hunters. Just <laughs> this is mostly just a, a, it's an actual, like, real life play. For yeah, us. it's an Aussie training simulator. I was going to say, this is an elementary school game, isn't it, right? You give this to your four-year-olds and then that's... <laughs> this, this is a representation of primary school class. That's perfect. <laughs> oh. Thank you to Justin Dorks. This has been great. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you all so much again for watching this. Uh, Half Monster Games, Desks and Dorks forever. Peace.